As we know, it costs much more to acquire a new customer than it does to retain an existing customer. In order to build and maintain a solid customer base, BigCommerce provides a Customer Relationship Manager, or CRM. In short, your customers can create an account with your store so you can collect their contact information and leverage it to build a loyal fan base that keeps coming back for more. And although we'll talk about customer groups in another BigCommerce University video, first, you need to encourage customer account creation and then learn how to manage things on the back end as well. By creating an account, your shoppers gain access to features designed to customize their shopping experience. For instance, by creating an account, they can craft and share wish lists of your products, manage their pending orders, and even view and reorder their past purchases in a snap. Who doesn't want that? Also, by enabling and encouraging your customers to create an account, you'll gain the ability to organize your customers into targeted groups. This allows for you to view customer order data, create a tax exempt group, offer discounts on specific products or categories to a group based on their purchase history, create a wholesale group, and so on. First thing to know is the difference between a customer and a guest. During the checkout process, you can offer your shoppers to check out as a guest or register an account. Now, as much as you may want all of your customers to create an account, we do recommend leaving the checkout as guest option available. Statistics show 14% or more of shoppers abandon checkout if they're forced to go through the account creation process. Now you're able to encourage your customers to create an account in many ways, including the top and bottom navigation and even in your marketing efforts. Naturally, you may be interested in customizing the fields required for a customer to create an account. No problem. Inside of your store's control panel, go to Settings, Advanced Settings, Account Signup Form. Now, although the fields we provide by default cannot be deleted, as they're necessary for the customer account functionality to work, you can easily make adjustments to them or add new fields. Note the two tabs at the top, the Account Signup Fields and Address Fields. The account signup fields are mandatory and cannot be deleted. A better place to make some customizations to your customer's signup form is within the Address Fields section. You can edit or copy any field by clicking the action wheel to the right. Under Settings for a specific field, you can adjust the name to whatever you would prefer. You may also add a default value which generates that gray suggestive text that appears in the background of a form field to ensure customer accuracy. Plus, you can have a little fun with it and engage with your customers. Last, you're able to determine whether a field is required or not. Naturally, the default fields we have are all required. For advanced users, we have an advanced tab. Here you can customize your field size, set a maximum field length, and even tinker with CSS class name and inline CSS style. If you don't know this terminology yet, come back to it later. If you want to add fields, select Create a New Field, and then select your field type from the drop-down menu. As you can see, we provide many options for you to tailor your form to your audience and business needs. From there, go ahead and complete the general and possibly the advanced fields as you see fit. It's wise to create a privacy policy for your online store. This will reassure your customers the information is secure and will only be used in relation to your business. Privacy policy generators are readily available online, but we do have some recommendations in our additional resources for when you're ready. Once your customer creates an account on the front end of your business, they will see a confirmation page that thanks them and, of course, encourages them to keep shopping. Almost immediately upon creating their account, they can expect to receive a confirmation email that looks like this. This way, they can easily access their account in the future. Okay, so what if you want to add a customer manually after you've participated in an event or had an in-store purchase? Inside your control panel, go to Customers, Add, and begin entering their details. Here you'll see the ability to add a customer to a specific customer group. For now, we haven't created any customer groups. If we had, we could select it from the drop-down menu. You can also give store credit to the specific customer. If you enter a dollar amount here, when the customer signs into their account and checks out, they'll be given the option to use a traditional payment method or put the credit you've given towards their purchase. You can also set whether or not this client has agreed to receive marketing emails. If the field is marked yes, the customer should always be able to unsubscribe. If they do, this field will read no. 
Additionally, you can force a password reset on the next login, which is a great option as customers' passwords should only be available to them. Next, you're able to determine whether this specific customer is tax exempt. This field works in conjunction with Avalara's automatic tax calculation and can be enabled in the tax settings area of your control panel. Last, if you'd like to set a password for your customers, you may do so here. Now, in the Customer Address Book tab, you'll be able to add an address or multiple addresses for this specific customer as needed. If you're completing all of this legwork, you're going to want to use it to build your business, right? To export your customers for things like marketing or reconciliation, go ahead to Customers, Export. Select the Bulk Edit Template Type, then export the CSV file for whatever use cases you may have. Easy peasy. Also, don't forget to check out your customer's report in the analytics area of your control panel. This report shows you the total number of customers who placed an order during a select time frame and what percentage of them were new versus returning. You'll be able to drill down and learn about specific customer buying behavior and learn about metrics like total amount spent, number of orders, average order value, and more. This can really help you identify your biggest spenders and most loyal customers so you can reward them accordingly. And there you have it. You're ready to start building a solid customer fan base to help you grow your online store.